Okay people, so today I will guide your team into the fastest way in getting the 500 orbs generated in Strike playlist for the renewed gear for the Hunter and Titan. Warlocks are a little different. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so on the Hunter you have to collect 500 Arc Orbs which are generated by yourself and teammates while playing the Vanguard playlist strikes. These are gen dependent on your subclass and weapon usage, so just use Arc if you are going into this using a Hunter. Titans you have to do the exact same thing but collect Void Orbs, so use Void all around. Warlocks don't actually have this challenge of collecting a certain orb from strikes, but they do have to get 200 super final blows in strikes. For warlocks though, you can do it this way, and it's probably the quickest way of doing it, but you can also do this solo by loading into a nightfall and running out of any of the last sectors you can find. The nightfall, I can confirm, does not work for the hunter and titan though, in getting those elemental orbs. They have to be done in the vanguard strike playlist. Warlocks are getting you 200 super final blows, you can do this in a nightfall. So in a team of 3, load into the vanguard strikes. Yes, you may have guessed it, we are doing the old blind well trick, hence why you need a team. So what you need to do is load into the vanguard strike playlist and look for the corrupted dreaming city strike. Just keep loading the playlist until you get it. It's quite a common strike so it shouldn't take you too long in finding it. Now once you do get it, simply make your way to the blind well. When you are here, you can simply just start up the blind well using any tier you want. And simply people just farm away. This will not only allow you to farm the specific uh, orbs you need from strike cooker, you will also be collecting every other orb you need for other armor challenges. And there are quite a few. One challenge requires you to collect a total of 1500 and this works great for that. So people use this to your advantage and get it done in no time. There is also guys a few challenges I know some people are confused about. These ones specifically with these icons. These you can also do here within the blind well. And what these means are as follows. You need to be using a subclass and weapons matching the burn of the day. So if it's art day, use arc weapons and subclasses. Solar day, solar subclasses and weapons, void, void, simple as that people. But yeah, this is by far the quickest way in getting this done and genning orbs, and collecting orbs for that matter. Now if you are a solo player and do want to do this, leave a comment down below with the platform you play on, and hopefully there will be others needing to do the exact same thing so you can help each other out. But yeah people, this is the fastest way in getting many of those rare, renewed armour challenges done in as short a time as possible. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.